Hey, all you Zelda from Zerglings, it's time for another two versus two on the map, Cinder Fortress. Oh, we got the unit colors going on here. How can we change that? Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Now we can actually see the team colors because we have both Cephas here as the orange Protoss, and his ally is Spartan as the pink Protoss. And their opponents on the other side of the map is Contrarian as the green Terran. And finally, we have Dunamai as the Teal Terran. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, we got another. We got another Protoss versus Terran here. Iyer versus Tarsonis. Or your pick your pick your favorite your favorite uh, Terran world in this game. And we see we have the 1.5 patch out now, so all the interfaces are a little bit well, a little bit different. I don't know if I want to say snappier. Although we've been having a lot of issues with the uh, performance. Has anyone else been having performance issues with 1.5? I don't know. We're going to see if it's going to affect this game. I don't know. The map is Cinder Fortress, which is generally a 3v3 map, which generally means that I hate it. But this one's the one I despise the least, and I thought it would be pretty good for a 2v2. Your bases are kind of tucked back here. you got the little extra in-base expansion. I'm not sure if position is going to matter as much on this. I mean, for one, you may not want to be by this ramp because you know, it'd be easy to just kind of pop in there. But then again, if your if your guys are away from the ramp, they could just set up a, set up some sort of a front right here. You'd never know it unless you scouted it. Which is, we do have some scouting going on right now. Bocephus is going to see what's going on here, and we got some SCVs come out here to meet. Oh no, it's 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 forbidden SCV love. They're gonna have to go back to their own corners before their parents find out. And apparently Bocephus decided to scout here, and then across here, and then here, thus increasing the amount of time it takes him to see the Contrarian is in fact Terran, and is in fact right here. And Contrarian's SCV currently is going to see what's going on here, he's probably going to see that gateway, he's not going to see the second gateway going down, interesting he's going to go two gate instead of a core. SCV's still patrolling around, he will be able to see this core however, which is pretty standard right here, going to throw on that extra pylon. And then he's going to chase that SCV away, although an SCV in your base is not as big a deal. Unless you're trying to deny scouting, you know, he's going pretty standard right now, so I don't think scouting is going to be that big of a deal. And Contrarian just throwing a supply depot down here. We got a barracks going up here for Dunamai. Trying to wall off that there ramp, which I don't know if that's really going to matter against Protoss, but it might. Maybe throw a bunker back here and, you know, you know, make this pretty, pretty durable unless he really comes up this ramp in force. Throwing down the pylon here. Looks like he's going to be trying to early expand, but not using the in-base expansion, perhaps. He's saving that one for Spartan. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. And that core is coming up now. Second gate is coming. He's trying to get out. Oh, but he's supply blocked. He does not have enough to get out this. Was he just chrono boosting that Zealot out? I think he was. Oh. But he does not have the pylon support for that. So a wasted chrono and a delayed Zealot. Fortunately, there's no rush coming, although we do have a Marine coming out here for Contrarian. He's going to need to get that Zealot out. He's got to provide some sort of defense. Although with the second gate up, he could start getting out a Stalker or a Sentry, but that Marine, is he just scouting or is he going to try to do some harassment? There don't seem to be any... Oh, no, there is another Marine coming up, so we're going to have a little bit of pressure. I suspect that these two Marines are going to be it, and then he's going to pull back. It looks like we had a factory coming up for Dunamai. He's going to go straight for that tank tech, I'm assuming. And that Zealot's just going to pop out and going to go after that Marine. He's going to try to micro it back, and you're doing a pretty good job. It's going to be a little hard to... Yeah, it's going to be a little hard, but he's going to try to get back to his buddy, I think. Yeah, Zealot's going to go back home. That, I think, is a wise decision. He does not want to get caught out in the middle of the map with a bunch of Marines. And trying to get another Zealot. I don't know about this. Maybe his gas... I think his gas might have been delayed a bit, but... He might, oh, he does get that Marine, so Contrarian not paying attention to his units, he might use an, lose another Marine, he's got to get out of there, and the Zealot's going to pull back, which I think is the right decision, but I really think he needs to get out a Sentry or a Stalker, depending on how he wants to play this, he's going to get out a Stalker, which is usually a bit more aggressive at this stage, a Sentry might be a little bit better, he could hold off an attack while he builds more units, but uh, I can't disagree with the Stalker. And Tech Lab going down, so it definitely looks like he's going for that tank. Ooh, double Factory! Whoa! This is going to be pretty gas intensive. He does have both gases up right now and getting down an armory, so either that, he's going heavy tanks, or he's going to go jumping right into Thor's perhaps. And there's going to be no scouting on this whatsoever. Do we have any observers out? We do not have any Robo going down right now. Which means they won't be able to do any scouting, and I think they really got to scout this. But yeah, we are getting siege mode, so it looks like it's going to be a tank play. He's going to go heavily into tanks. 
But this could be, work right into mech play. And getting up, oh, getting up another base, that I think he's going to need. If he's going to go for mech, that is definitely what he needs. But, you know, maybe getting out some Hellions may not be a bad idea. If they get a lot of Zealots, those Hellions would do pretty good against that. And provide cover for the rest of the mecking army. But looks like he's just going to go for tanks right now, though he can't quite afford one just yet. Oh, no, he can afford a tank. Start getting those tanks out. If you're going to go mech, go mech. Go mech or go home. Don't start building marines. Oh, this this marine, though, brought his beefy buddies here. Which, ooh, this could be pretty good. He's going a lot of stalkers now, but no, no, he's going to pull back. Decided that was maybe not the best idea. Although there's a lot more gates out here. He can really start turning out the units, although maybe a little bit behind in the money. I think he, yeah, he's, yeah, he's got to get some, he's got to, oh, he's got to saturate this gas. He's definitely going to need it. Oh, and here comes the attack now. I guess they're waiting for a couple more marines, but I think... He's going to be able to deflect it. He might want to pull those zealots back. He's letting the zealots take damage. They shouldn't be. Oh, and he's going to lose the zealot. He might lose the other one, too. Oh, the zealot's trying to get up there. And, oh, he hasn't made this into a gateway yet. I think he's going to be able to hold this. But if he keeps reinforcement, I see reinforcements coming across the map. He's got to hurry and get this out. And he's got to get this gas saturated. If he's going to... He can't win this on zealots alone, especially if he has more... He has Marauder Slow. I was not able to determine whether he has Marauder Slow. He does not. I didn't think he did, but it's something about Zelt running a bit sluggishly. I guess he's just lazy. Oh, well now he's dead, so I can't check on him anymore. And we do have an expansion going up here for both Cephas. Oh, probably just a little bit of a miss rally there. And the tank production has started. It's not a lot of tanks just yet, though. We got Twilight Council coming out here for Spartan. What's he going to be going for? Getting his base up. He really needs to start pumping out some more probes, though, because he needs... And he needs to take this gas. He's going to be so gassed off, although he looks pretty mineral starved, too. This might be a good time to grab that gas so he can maybe get the two to go up at the same time. I don't know, but he still has not seen that that gas is unsaturated. And it looks like he's even... Oh, he's even made this one gas, but he hasn't saturated that yet, either. Just one probe on it right now. Gotta get his gas up. He's going to need it. He cannot run on one and a third gas. And what do we have Contrarian? Contrarian's going to throw it on his factory, but he's got quite a bit of a barracks production going on here. And getting this double engineering base, so he's going to go for double infantry upgrades. Probably just going to do this to get out some medevacs. Although it'd be nice... To, oh, I guess he got to wait for the factory to finish to start building a uh, reactor so he can get that on the star part right away. Looks like he's going to be ready for expansion, too. We'll see if it's got a pile in here at the front just to watch make sure the expansion doesn't go down. And we check the income tab right now while we have a moment. Looks like Bosevis is doing pretty good. He's on two bases. I'd like to see him get a few more workers out and maybe throw some Chrono Boost down on that because he does have the energy for it. He's not he's using a little bit of his energy, but not nearly enough. I'd like to see him and getting Hallucinate. This is an interesting choice, but we don't have to worry about right now because we have an even bigger ball coming out here for Contrarian. And I don't think that Spartan's got what he needs to deflect this. This could be very, very bad for him. He's just got a few stalkers. Where are his units right now? He can't even afford to reinforce this. He has almost no money. And you're going to scout the expansion. I don't know if that's really necessary. There may be something here, but these stalkers are so vulnerable. He's going to try to get some zealots, but he just can't afford it. He just doesn't have the money. So it looks like, oh, he may be lucked out here. Contrarian decides he's just going to go expansion hunting, which is going to give Spartan more time to get up that army that he needs. He's going to get that Zealot Charge. It'll be very good against the Terran Bio. Maybe even want to consider getting out the... Uh, oh, going to put the tanks up there on those rocks. Aren't going to do that much unless they attack right here, though. Or, well, I guess if they try to swing around here, they'll do quite a bit of damage as well. Yeah, they got that, that route pretty well covered. Not so much over here. They could sneak past over here fairly easily if they're careful. Train flying up that expansion. I'm assuming we've got ooh, double starport coming. Where'd that factory go? You might want to get a reactor up for that. Yeah, and throwing down more barracks. I like that, but he definitely wants to get some reactors on those factories. So using this factor or on those starports, so using this factory to produce them, I think would be a good idea. And now all their armies kind of clustered up here, defending those rocks, defending that new expansion. I don't think Spartan realizes how lucky he was. If Contrarian had pushed in there, I think he could have wiped Spartan out, because I don't know what Bocephus has. Oh, let me check what Bocephus has. He has two Zealots, one Immortal, and four Stalkers on two Sentries. These, 
These guys, the Protoss, have no army right now. They've got, they've got nothing. They've really got to get back into unit production because they are in big trouble. Trying to get Immortals out and getting two more Robo base. Definitely going heavy Robo right now. Which could be beneficial. Colossus and Immortals might not be a bad choice against this composition. With tanks and a lot of bio, that, that could be exactly what they need. And then just use the Stalkers and Zealots to kind of pack the additional punch, I guess. But are they going to have enough? I don't know if they're going to have enough when the engagement begins. And then the tanks have decided they're going to move over here instead. I guess they didn't like being over here. I Maybe they're just going to pop them. Why don't you put two right here and two right here? Then you cover both flanks. Maybe? No? Not? It looks like we have a scouting zealot out here. Is he going to head for those rocks? He's not going to last long. Oh, and we do have Sty Storm and Blink coming out for Spartan. I did not even see the uh, Templar archives go down. What is this zealot doing? And Viking? Viking out for Dunamite. Interesting choice, but it is going to help spot for those tanks. Because tanks can shoot further than they can see. Oh, and this force is pushing out again. Oh, it looks like he's just going to be taking out those rocks right here. And we've got a pretty good macro game going right now. We've got Thermal Lance coming out here for both Cephas, but... Is he going to be, he's going to maybe, oh, he is trying to get up a third base, but definitely going to need to get more workers up. More workers. He definitely needs more workers, but he, he certainly has the worker lead right now. And, well, both Spartan and Bocephus are doing pretty good on Econ. Contrarian, surprisingly, is falling a bit behind on his Econ. Only 39 workers. This base is almost mined out. This one is not nearly saturated enough, and... He probably does not realize that you cannot make buildings build faster if you put more workers on them. I believe that is a single player upgrade that you can get, not something you can do in multiplayer. This bio army is staying still pretty active. Although once those Colossus get out, they get in a good position. That, oh, they're going to try to take out those rocks. There is a cannon that will help defend it. But I think they could have these rocks. Oh, they won't even get in range of the cannon. Hopefully they notice this is coming. Oh, we do have the Viking up here spotting. They've got to move their forces here. And, oh, there's no Colossus here. Pull back. You, you do not want to be that close to the rock. You do not want to get caught in the middle. Oh, but it looks like they're going to try to flank them. But it's just Spartan pushing it right now. Here comes Bocephus. He's going to try to take all this tank. And a side storm goes down. Mainly hits the Zealots, unfortunately. And, oh, he might have been able to... Uh, I don't know. Should he have taken out those tanks? But, oh, he, he, he lost all of his Zealots doing that. He needed to either commit or pull back. Instead, he just lost all of his Zealots, which could have been used to soak up a lot of that damage. And he's got no support here for Bocivus. Bocivus poked down the ramp for a second, but then he just ran off. And now... Oh, that would have been a perfect place for a Sty Storm, but I don't think that Templar had enough for a Storm, and I think it died. Did it die? It looks like it died. I do not see a Templar, High Templar in there anymore. It looks like they're getting those rocks down. They're ready to get aggressive. The Colossi are here now. They do have plus one attack. It'll be pretty good against this bio army. They can hold this ramp pretty well with that. And ooh, another Templar. I hope Spartan realizes that's there. He'd be great for a flanking side storm. He'd be great for a flanking side storm. I don't think he knows if that's actually there, but this Colossi will really help burn down this army. They're gonna try to push up the ramp. I don't think this is a good idea. And here comes the... St oh, and a Psy Storm right on the ramp. And he's going to bite a cannon shot to the face. But he did his work and he survived. So no worries there. And those tanks are going to have to retreat. I don't... Well, once they unseize, it might have been a time to go after them. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. He's going to get out some more Zealots. He might want to get Zealot charged for his own Zealots so they can get on top of those tanks. I think that might be prudent. When we check the units lost, and Contrarian has lost a ton. Dunamai did okay. He didn't really lose much in the way of his tanks, but Spartan lost a lot too because he committed when his ally wasn't, his heart wasn't quite in it. And this Viking, pretty brave, just sitting out here waiting to be taken down. And we have more tanks coming right now. Do we have more Immortals to help counter that? Doesn't look like we have any unit production right now. He definitely needs to focus on getting out robotics tech. That, I think, needs to be his goal, but I think he needs another base. He definitely needs another base. Spartan, not so much. I mean, yeah, he wants to be on three bases, but especially if he's going to try to get out a lot of High Templar, which he does have a lot of High Templar out. He's just got to be careful and make sure they're in the right position. These Vikings are going to scout around for bases. No one's taken the islands yet. Maybe a little, little concern too, but there's plenty of bases back at home as well. 
Oh, Bocephus does have a third base, and he's and he's fully saturated the gas, which is good. I think he's definitely going to need it, but he's going to have to keep making some workers. He needs to keep making workers, because he's going to need more minerals, too, otherwise he's going to be gas-heavy, which on a robo-build, I think, is not what you want. Oh, they're going to be throwing down some mist turks. It's going to be bad for this observer. He'll be able to see this army sitting here, but not for very long if he's not paying attention. And here come the medevacs, finally. And they're going to try to push up this ramp again. I don't know if that's a good idea. They may take out that pylon, but is it really worth it? I don't think that was a good idea. And pull back. Oh, you definitely do not want to take those tanks on the face. You've got to get more immortals out. Now it looks like he's getting ready for a drop. Where is he going to drop? Oh, is he going to drop this way? Going to have to keep an eye on this. There's a lot of Templar out. If they get some feedbacks on those medevacs, could be devastating, although they don't quite have enough energy to kill the medevacs off, but but soon. And Bocephus is going to see this drop coming right here. Are we going to be ready for it? There's a lot of high Templar. They can do all sorts of feedbacking to these medevacs if he's not careful. Is Spartan paying attention? Oh, they're going to fly right into the photon cannons. Spartan's not paying attention. His army's not in position. He could lose all of his probes. He's not careful. Spartan... Spartan, hurry up, Spartan, you're going to lose your base, and there goes the Psystorm, a little hitting, mostly hitting the Zealots, that one's a little better, there we go, that's going to help send that out, and all those Medivacs, oh, everything is going down, I don't know, oh, I don't know if he's going to use that last storm to take out Medivacs, and those Marauders are going to try to do as much damage as possible, but what are they going to get, oh, they got another probe, we need to finish those off, and then meanwhile, we got a push up here with tanks. They're not sieged up, and all the Zealots are going to get on top of those tanks. And they're going to try to take them out, but they're doing all sorts of splash damage to themselves. The Zealots are going to do this all by themselves just by taking the hits for the team. And, oh, the siege tanks are going to unseize, but I don't know if any of them are going to make it. These two might be able to get out of there. But, oh, here comes the back up here, but that's not really going to be that helpful. And he's going to try to get siege back up, but I don't think this is a good engagement for him with all these Colossus here. They're going to try to muscle their way through, but this is the absolute wrong decision right now. And here come the reinforcements, the tank's gonna go down, and here come more tanks, but they're not sieged up, and they're just gonna run into the slaughter. Oh, this would be the time for a counterattack. They've got nothing here, you've gotta push in. Now, where are you going? Where are you going, Bocephus? No, push in. You've gotta push in, you've gotta help your buddy out. And that was a worthless storm. I did not see anything there that would actually be... You'd be better, you'd be better off storming those SCBs. And I think this could be it. What do they got right now? And oh, all these SCVs are transferring. This would be devastating for them. And a rally. Oh, Miss Rally is going to cause another tank. It's life. And it, oh, the, the SCVs are going to go down. How many of them are going to get away? You've got to siege up right here. That's about the only thing you can do right now. Oh, I've noticed this little new little clock timer here. That's, that's different. But oh, these tanks are going to do a little bit of damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And here comes the Vikings. They have enough anti air. They really don't have a lot of anti air here. Oh, but the Viking, the Spartan, we need your anti-air. Spartan, we need your anti-air. Oh, it's just looking bad right now. Contrarian, I believe in GG. I didn't even see a GG out of him. Just got decimated. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this game. And have a day.